Good morning and Chodesh Tov. This week's Torah portion is Chukat. The word Chukat means the commandments that are beyond rational explanation, like the law of the red heifer in the beginning of this week's Torah portion. There are certain commandments that are not rational, not like honor your father and mother, don't steal, don't kill, that everyone can understand, but laws that are beyond their understanding, like not mixing milk and meat. God didn't give us the reason. He just said, do it out of obedience because I asked you to do it. Show trust and faith. Just like a child, sometimes you have to explain to your child why you want something done. And sometimes you just say, because I'm your parent and this is what I want you to do and I you want you to trust me. If you have a close friend and you say, can you do me a favor? They say, sure, just tell me what it is. They don't have to understand it and why you want it done. And so to our relationship with God, or like a relationship with a spouse. If your wife or husband wants something, you don't always have to understand why it's important to them. You do it out of love. And that's chukat. But the word chukat also means engraved. And what the Torah is telling us is that our connection to God and our relationship to the values and the morals and the ethics of the Torah and the commandments and the precepts and the path of righteousness is engraved within us. It's not something external to us that's being superimposed upon us but it's something that's embedded in our soul it's like an internal gps system an internal navigation system that guides us on the proper path we intuitively know what is right and what is wrong because god embedded it in our soul just like letters engraved on a stone you can't distinguish between the letter and the stones it's one entity so too spirituality, godliness, holiness, righteousness is something that's within us and therefore we can never deny it and we can never ignore it because it calls us from within because it's engraved like the word Fukat within our very being, within our essence. Rabbi Moshe Brisky, who was our scholar in residence yesterday, told a beautiful story about a young woman who came to study in France at university and she rented an apartment and her rabbi said, you know, you should really put up a mezuzah on your door. So she put a mezuzah on the door of her apartment. But then her friends came over to visit and her friends said, you know, it's dangerous today. There's so much anti-Semitism. You should really take down that mezuzah. You're making yourself a target. So she took her friend's advice and took off the mezuzah. A few weeks later, there's a note on her door from one of her neighbors upstairs that says, I was walking by your apartment. The mailman was trying to deliver a package. You weren't home, so I took it for you, and I am holding it for you. Just come get it any time. She goes upstairs to the neighbor. There's an elderly man, and he hands her the package that he got from the delivery man. And as she's about to leave, he says to her, can I ask you a question? She says, sure. He says, why did you take down your mezuzah? She looked at him and says, you noticed? And he said, let me tell you something. I'm a Holocaust survivor. I lost my entire family. And I turned my back on Judaism. I was so angry at God. I said, I'll have nothing to do with Judaism for the rest of my life. He said, I'm living here in France. I haven't gone to synagogue in many, many decades. One day the elevator was broken in the building. So I climbed the steps. And when I came up the stairwell passing your door, I saw the mezuzah. And suddenly the memories of my childhood started to come back to me. And I went over and put my hand on the mezuzah. And suddenly I began to weep as I remembered my childhood, my upbringing, my Jewish life before the war. And since that day, I would climb the steps every day, looking forward to kissing the mezuzah on your doorpost. That was the only thing Jewish I did in my life. And then one day I came upstairs and I didn't see the mezuzah anymore. And so I was wondering why you took down the mezuzah. And she told him, well, Truth be told, my friends told me there's so much anti-Semitism today. It's dangerous. I should take it down. And the man said, I'm asking you a favor. Please put back that mezuzah on your doorpost. And I'll tell you what, I'll make a deal with you. If you put up your mezuzah, I'll put a mezuzah on my door as well. Every Jew feels an internal connection to Judaism. Even when we try to ignore it, ultimately the feelings resurface within us because like the commandments they are chakuk they are engraved they are embedded in our spiritual dna in our souls and therefore it's one 
with us. Have a wonderful day.